Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and I, I have that coffee uh, that's a light roast, kind of a light medium roast coffee. I struggle a bit. I struggle to, to develop the, the, the flavor notes that are promised on the, on the bag. Uh, so it's a very good coffee. It's a very good tasty, tasty coffee from Brazil. Uh, a coffee roast Dua Fratelli. Um, and that's a naturally processed coffee. If you've seen one of my previous videos, I played with that coffee. I'm getting sweetness, I'm getting um, nice coffee flavors, mild coffee flavors, but on the bag they promise, uh, apart from sweetness, they promise tropical fru fruits, uh, pineapple, um, banana, and aftertaste of orange blossoms. And I'm getting none of that. Sweetness, yes some undistinguished uh, fruity notes sometimes but nothing else so i thought <clears throat> but for some coffees those th that classic extraction uh, six nine bars might not work let's try something different so in one of my previous videos again i played with the turbo shot um so we will do the turbo and we will also do a turbo bloom so we will compare those two shots so turbo espresso it became fashionable last year i think uh, um, when some scientists discovered that uh, the way we were pulling espresso so far might not be necessarily the best especially with those light roast coffees uh, so uh, when you grind finely uh, during the extraction the water has to squeeze in through the coffee pack and it will always try to find the ways to go through the, the pockets of the least resistance. So there will be some channeling. You might not see it as a channeling, but there is always some channeling through the pack. So parts of the pack will be over extracted, parts of the pack will be under extracted. If you pull 10 shots like that, um, the coffee will find different ways. So different parts of the pack will be over and under extracted. So um, the shots, although similar, won't be exactly the same. Way uh, to prevent that is to grind uh, coarser and, and uh, kind of like much coarser so there is a res less resistance from the pack so the coffee the water is going straight through the pack turbo extraction is faster and uh, should extract more flavors now in the first 20 seconds of the shot they say that should be a, a mostly the good flavors Above that, you may extract those bad flavors. So the, the shot is typically about 20 seconds or so. Higher ratio, so um, um, one to three, it's, it's, it's common. Uh, and the pressure, we pick at six bars. What's the turbo bloom? <laughs> well, you're kind of combining uh, two of the best. So turbo shots are great. Blooming espressos uh, often can be great. I struggled some time ago with the uh, blooming espresso on this and maybe uh, one day i will i will record another video about that it wasn't easy to, to do the proper uh, blooming espresso but the blooming uh, espresso it's a different approach to the same subject so you saturate the coffee pack with the water and then you re let it rest like if you were doing a, a pour over the same principle so that there, there is a gap so there will be a gap in the in the turbo bloom uh, espresso uh, shot as well uh, so we will introduce the water then we stop the water flow or if not zero there will be lower water flow uh, and then the pressure will ramp up to six again six bars and it will be slowly declining i'm aiming again for about 20 21 seconds for for both of those shots Possibly I will have to grind slightly finer for turbo bloom than for the turbo. And hopefully by the end of this video, I will I'll be able to tell you which of those two is better, which one you could try. Well, you should try both, but which one I think you, you, should, you should choose. Uh, and hopefully I will get those fruity notes from that coffee because I know the coffee is good. That's the turbo turbo. Uh, forget about that first part of the pressure. I, tried i tried i cannot get this one uh dialed in properly so i will run it like a like a normal turbo shot so there will be a water flow introduction of water um about five mils per second so the first part of the shot that's the flow profile 
and then it will change into the pressure profile so the there will be still a high water flow about three four and a half six bars peak and that will be decline and it will still and that, then it will stay kind of steady at at four bars of pressure there will be some drops of temperature so we start with the higher temperature now the turbo bloom as you can see there is that big splash of water at the beginning 8 mils per second for a few seconds then the water flow will go down we will see how low but uh, it will definitely go down after that the pressure will build up to uh, six bars of pressure it will stay for in that six bars for a second or so and then it will be gradual decline i will do a turbo bloom first 18 grams of coffee in uh, and about 54 grams of liquid out uh, in about 20 seconds i'm using a df64 with ssp multi-purpose birds hey have a look well there is a crema actually here you would not expect crema from that kind of shot is it a perfect example of a of a blooming espresso mm, that peak of pressure here I, I i would be happy to 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 get without it so there was that spike of pressure where i would like the pressure to uh to be down so that blooming phase we kind of jump over it the, the coffee flow obviously wild that's what you would expect overall it took 20 seconds so as, as always remember those are my clumsy attempts usually the first attempts with uh, any particular uh, profile anything that you think that i could improve please let me know in the comments that will be helpful for myself and will be helpful for for the viewers uh, the crema looks very nice <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, i would call it a kind of a thick on a thick side uh, so yeah I'm, I'm happy with that uh, i'm getting kind of a tea like a green tea but possibly like a little bit of the hint of mango in it and definitely chocolate uh, the, 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 this cho this coffee always <laughs> comes with the chocolate chocolate notes the oranges maybe a little bit the hint but the bitterness here it's uh, it's not overpowering but it's it's becoming slightly less pleasant because of that we lost lots of sweetness normally this coffee is very sweet bananas mm, pineapple i would really struggle to find uh, those tropical notes i mean there is something and there, there is i have to say there is more in terms of nuances in this shot than i had with one to two ratio shots with this particular coffee so i think we might be on the right track let's see the extraction rate of this particular shot okay so it's 6.38 tds 19.25 percent extraction so not bad so I was willing to accept the previous shot, but then I thought, let's play with some settings. So I changed few settings. It probably still won't be perfect. And it's probably only interesting to people who got decent. What I struggled here, this, this particular shot was that blooming phase. So that's, they call it dynamic bloom. Uh, I wanted to extend uh, that, that blooming, blooming phase just to find out if it makes any difference so uh, and also there was like a, a pressure jump during the pre-infusion blooming phase that i wanted to avoid so what i did here i put the pressure limit to 1.5 bar and here i put the trigger so the machine will move on to the next phase when and there are different conditions you can set so i put when the, the water flow is below 0.6 the water flow should drop dramatically here. And when machine detects is below uh, 0.6, it will start that next phase. Because before the machine was moving straight from here 
up to here. So this time I will show you the live extraction. So you see water flow to eight, then stops, goes down. That's the blooming phase. And then slowly goes up to about four and a half and 18 seconds it took. So what I wanted to do is to accentuate that uh, that blooming phase. It's still not perfect. Uh, if you look at that, it took about, uh, what, five seconds-ish? But pretty much what I wanted to, 18 seconds of extraction, so I was aiming for slightly longer. But that just to show you how 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 it looks like the next stage of playing with uh, a descent so you can change pretty much everything here so maybe instead of uh, playing with the flow or maybe i could lower that flow even lower before the machine moves to the another stage maybe i could do something with the pressure so the machine uh, the, initially the machine was set uh, to uh, move to the next stage when the pressure will be uh, uh, under 2.5 uh, bars so that's that's another way or maybe maybe something else so that that will be you if you get a decent that will be you playing with all those settings and each stage of the advanced profile got its own settings <laughs> okay so uh, today i was just struggling with that blooming phase but uh, some settings with some profiles you may struggle from the beginning to the end of the shot uh, well, that's the beauty. That's the beauty of this machine. This part of the video, by the way, I record on, on, a, on a different uh, day. I couldn't sleep uh, last night. You know, I was thinking about the Turbo Bloom. <laughs> My God, you see how, the, how your life changes when you, when you go into the, <laughs> the coffee uh, rabbit hole. I, I was literally thinking about what, what should I change? I was making, you know, like a plans in my head what I will adjust the next morning. So I, I pull a few shots. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting that. I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, so I don't know. But at least I, 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 I managed to, to, to get that blooming face slightly longer. Uh, so the shot looks, looks, shot looks good. Mm, kind of, well, difficult to say, kind of a green greenish uh, aroma, nothing, nothing special. What I'm getting here, the same as with the first shot that you've seen. Um, this is possibly slightly sweeter, but I'm getting those oranges, orangey uh, notes. Uh, but no, no, no of the trop, nothing of the tropical uh, nature. I mean, the orange is kind of tropical, but nothing of the pineapple or, 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 or banana. But overall, very similar to the first uh, um, Turbo Bloom that I pull. Uh, this one slightly sweeter, but um, I probably would like that maybe three, four extra seconds. So how to get that extra few seconds? Um, you don't change the grind settings because the, the, the difference is so small. You, you are chasing just for, for, for a few extra grams. So just put maybe half a gram, maybe gram of coffee extra and you would get to that uh, 20, well, let's say two seconds of extraction. Uh, I will quickly check the refractometer and then we go to for the turbo shot. 21, 21% uh, extraction. So obviously you have to mix the coffee well. Sometimes the temperature play a part. We have a, uh, today we have a, like a heat wave in, in London. So the temperatures outside, well, it's probably over 30 degrees already. <laughs> and uh, they, they say it will be over 40 today. So like, like over 100 uh, Fahrenheit. So that's a lot here. Uh, but still a very, very strong extraction. Turbo shot. It took 19 seconds. Yeah, as I said, I skipped that first part. Uh, the, the water flow slightly higher at the beginning that, than I was aiming for, but then it's, it steadies itself at three and something. So I can, I can accept that the pressure 
apart from the first stage the pressure followed exactly as it should maybe second or two more i would like so again if you can see i mean crema is not everything here yeah? but it looks it looks in very inviting it looks very inviting yeah it smells more like a again like a baked uh, cookies or something less less of that green tea uh, smell that i had in the first the very first shot there is sweetness there is some fruitiness those tropical notes those elusive tropical notes still struggling to get them so this shot is slightly sweeter than the first one there is some bitterness but it's kind of mixed 50 50 with the sweetness i wouldn't call it banana i wouldn't call it uh, pineapple papaya maybe certain types of papayas are uh, they got a little bit of that uh, bitterness if you know what i mean so the, maybe but uh, i'm just i'm just pushing it <laughs> we will do the refractometer test and then i will tell you which one i like uh, and more and why 6.64 you've got almost 20 percent extraction for the turbo shot yeah so so here we have it here we have it my struggle with uh, turbo bloom it's over overall uh, I'm, 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 i still cannot believe that i like those type of shots when i started the, the, the my adventure with the with the coffee that kind of shot would be discarded without even ta testing tasting um, 20 seconds or below 20 seconds no nobody would take it and now it's it's something that we do um, so uh, i liked both of those shots but i enjoyed more of that uh, turbo bloom especially the second one uh, i got more of the orangey interesting orangey flavors uh, and i think extraction was the highest there but you know depending on a different day the extraction can be can be uh, different because of the temperature and so on and so on so don't take it as a gospel but it looks looks like i, I tasted a few of those uh, samples and each each of that some of those samples with the turbo bloom the second turbo bloom the extraction was the highest so i it looks like i did something right uh although that it's not always that the higher extraction that means the better flavor but that's for another topic as always guys first of all click like and subscribe very important for the channel even more important is that you watch to those videos so if you're here that means you probably watched through the <laughs> the first part of the video uh, so thank you very much um, the, another important thing is um, for myself and for the other viewers especially if you if you're familiar with either decent or those type of shots uh, tell us about your experience what do you like which shots do you, you don't like uh, what can be changed on a descent to improve that that turbo bloom um, any comments by the way any comments are, are welcome here uh, for the next video i probably will be play i will be doing a, a hand grinding for espresso again uh, well who knows we'll see uh, there is also a new electric budget friendly electric grinder coming to the show uh, i'm on the waiting list it's not available yet in uk but as soon as it is i will i will get it so that's a budget friendly electric grinder conical uh, but i won't tell you more about it not yet <laughs> uh, let's keep that suspension uh, for today thank you thank you very much for watching my name is jack this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.